start. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Abbrazi, and this is the presentation in relation to my 1400 project. Um, my project was based on Texas Construction, a construction firm in Ghana. And the objective of this project was to assess the feasibility of the backward integration option chosen by the company. Um, to analyze the industry attractiveness of the company, which can go into the concrete sector, which is a new um, concept in Ghana, and to recommend a suitable approach to the firm, I mean, that would ensure that the achievable decision is feasible and sustainable towards the near future. Um, this is a big background of the organization. It was founded in the, in the year 1947 by Frank Taylor. Um, and it's a very popular company in the UK called Taylor Woodrow. Um, it's responsible for a lot of major projects in the country. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the name TSA came about when Taylor Woodrow International merged with um, a, a local bank, a social security bank in Ghana, um, and that was from the name TSA. It um, has been part of the Taylor Woodrow Group, which became the Taylor Wimpy Group. And in 2009, um, they disposed of the Ghana entity TSA to the existing senior management, and they have been in charge of the company since then. Um, this is a SWOT analysis of the company, and I'll be focusing much on the, uh, the weaknesses and the threats. Now, in terms of the weaknesses, um, they'll say there's a slow response to different areas, which has been a, a problem for TSEC over the years, as they were very uh, confident and content with where they were in terms of the construction of roads, buildings, and the home sector, which is quite new. Um, they've seen a drastic improve, increase in competition from rival firms. Um, and it's not been helped by the case of their political instability and government projects which they used to go into before have been a bit slow in terms of payments, which can be a bit of a detriment to the cash flow of companies. Um, and this is what's prompted TSEC to go into these um, um, concrete concepts. Over here is uh, the construction industry um, background. In the, and this information was taken from BMI, Business Money International. On the right, we see these graphs, which are showing the construction industry growth year on year. Um, it's forecasted to, um, by the end of this year, 2030, to grow by 10.2%, and steadily grow for the next um, for five years um, to uh, about the same range of about 10%. Um, coming to figures, what we see here is the construction industry forecast. By the end of this um, year, there's supposed to be, a, as a forecast, to be a total capital investment of uh, $12.6 billion. Um, dollars. And that is going to shoot up to $26.4 billion in 2017, which uh, is a significant rise of about 109%. Um, now, these figures show that the construction industry in Ghana is growing, and there is more room for avenues in different sectors uh, due to the boost of new oil in the domestic economy. Um, now, this slide is looking at the vertical integration approach which they said are going to follow. Now, this is through related diversification. Now, what this means is that TSEC could be bringing new products um, with, uh, to new markets and some of them existing markets or by using um, the vertical integration, which has been linked together. Now, the benefits of that is access to raw material suppliers, which will make it easier for them because that direction will make them move down to all suppliers and move away from the um, building. It will also create a lower transaction cost, by which TSEC will be able to build on that by pro providing raw materials um, cheaper to, to, to the customers and make them have an advantage over that by being able to produce um, products for them at a cheaper and faster rate. Um, and this diagram over here is showing how it's going to happen. Over there you see it takes like uh, into the building and bridges and civil engineering and all that. But the background integration would rather make them be producing um, the concrete for the construction firms and real estate companies, which will be their new um, customers and move them away from the major risks which are involved in major government contracts. We take longer time for them to get payments um, due to different um, political problems. Um, this is looking at the feasibility, and in looking at that, we're looking at, I looked at how TSEC would be able to achieve this. Um, a lot of data was gathered in order to 
compile um, for these figures. And what we, I was able to compile was the, um, the profit and loss in the balance sheet, which um, are highlighted here. Now, this is going to start starting from the year in the 2014 up to um, 20, 20, um, 2018. And from these figures that we see here, um, we can see that there's going to be a projected um, income we should be growing by 10%, which we forecasted from the BNI forecast, which is showing in the first year, there's going to be a figure of 443,000 uh, Ghana cities, which is probably about 150,000 pounds, and steadily growing um, up to the 4.126 million uh, Ghana cities, which shows a significant contribution to the company and a, 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 a positive sign of investments, as there are no loss figures um, over here. The same with um, the balance sheet. Now, we, in terms of the balance sheet, what we see is um, how the company we've been able to, you know, to service its debt over the years. And then again, it also shows significantly how well the um, return on investment would be, taking into projection what the future um, potential demand would, would, would look like at 40,000 cubic meters. This is looking at um, the industry attractiveness, as we said. This is to check to see um, if the industry is um, attractive. And from here, we're using the forces by forces. The threat of entrance could be limited, or is limited, due to the high capital expenditure in, in, in the cost incurred in buying a new battery plant. Um, this, you know, um, low switching costs in the value of our customers. In terms of substitute products, the concrete is uh, had very little substitute because it's a very component in building. And the bagging power suppliers is quite high because these suppliers have you know, unique access to some of these um, machines and raw materials, which um, a lot of um, companies do not do. Now the competitive rivalry would, would be very um, limited at this stage um, because there's high trade costs and high exit barriers. And from these, any organization that's able to overcome these high exit costs and high exit barriers will be able to sustain itself. And we go on further to use um, the sampling method to, 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 to show this. Now, this was based on 300 companies, registered construction companies in Ghana. Um, the sampling was taken out of the 40% of the companies who, who were responsible for 80% um, of the um, contracts in the country. And this was a sampling method which we did. We sent out 160 questionnaires, which we call 100 response. And this was 62.5% of what that we, we, we wanted, which we felt was um, reasonable enough. And this chart is showing the um, sample respondents per region. And the majority of them are in the Greater Accra and Western region, where most of the construction activity in the country is at the moment. We could go on further to use the industry life cycle. Now, the industry life cycle um, over in, at the concrete industry is showing that inside the growth stage. There's few competitors which are consigned Monolo. Um, there's high growth prospects. They are firm to and position to detect customers in terms of ability to produce more. Um, and that gives them an upper hand over them because, from, from my research, it looks like you know, these firms could detect to these customers and tell them what they like because they could offer specialized products. Um, we were able to establish that industry attractive, we were able to establish that um, there was potential demand. Um, and this is the blueprint of, of the recommendations of the implementation of the, um, the, 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 the strategy that will make the company successful in this country fashion plant. Now, over here, we, it's based on the marketing operations and then the value chain. On the marketing side, um, it was a, a suggestion of them using service differentiation. Now, service differentiation because concrete is uh, a, gen a generic product. And the ways by which TSEC could be able to be successful in this, uh, in this case is by making all this very simple for the customer, delivering on time larger, the, the larger quantities, and establishing good relationships by giving them technical assistance. And through doing these kind of things, the, um, the relationship side, side of things will be able to improve 
um, the marketing because it entice people to re relate to the you know the brand of Tasek like for quality and closer relationships, and that will be beneficial to them. The next side of it is advertising, and we believe that advertising is um, one of the very important ways by which they actually promote their products. It's a new product that they're producing now, and it is, some, it is um, the way to expose this uh, um, a product is through advertising. Over here we've got this uh, model, which is the objectives. The advertising campaign should objective is to inform the public that they are producing concrete. And the money, um, they need reasonable funds that will be now for the advertising, and this is uh, allocated for provided for in the uh, profit and loss account. The message, the message should, should, should show the presence and at the same time it should be able to explain why people should be you know, um, buying concrete. And a typical example is that most of the, 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 the cement bags that are bought by construction firms in Ghana um, are stolen and, and these raw materials are stolen on site. Producing the concrete and delivering will reduce this risk for construction firms and it will increase the production in large quantities. Um, the media, which is the, the vehicle by which they're going to, to, to sell, to sell, to advertise, the company website, the integrated uh, communication systems, um, newspapers, radios, are the best ways to to to, to expose uh, these messages, and they will be able to they will be able to measure this from uh, the response levels from this advertising program in terms of increasing sales, uh, response from customers, and from um, the hits on the internet. The other one is also looking at the forces value chain. And over here, we focus much on the sales and marketing and in the services, because this is the part where it will relate more to the customer. There should be strong customer relationships. There should be strong technical relationships. And through the product and technology and development, and through human resources, training the right people for the right place at the right job, they will be able to add value to the services that they provide to, to the customer. And, and by doing this, they will be able to capture most of the market, which is in the growth stage at the moment, and there's more opportunities for a market leader to come in. The operation side is looking at the supply chain, and this is just basically a graph of the, uh, the value chain of, um, of the, the supply chain of KSEC. And this is looking at how um, the um, the elements of the supply chain of production, how to produce, um, you know, how much stock they need, and um, location. Because they could have a mobile batching plant, they, they should be able to be nearer the customers so they can be able to be, be nearer them and transport goods to them in a short and possible time. And of course, they should be sharing of information, which is showing over here. Um, in conclusion, what I would say is uh, the construction industry is getting a bit saturated with too many firms. Um, and therefore, there's uh, opportunities elsewhere which firms will exploit, like the concrete. Um, the industry is attractive, there's potential demand, um, and it's recommended that a, a strong marketing and operation and a value change strategy would help the organization achieve this. Um, this was um, my proposal to TSEC. Um, it's been taken in good faith, and plans have been introduced for that to take over from next year. I um, hope it goes well for them. Um, and I hope you like the presentation. Uh, thank you very much.